Uh, dear students, this is the third and the final part of the circulatory system in which you will learn about the cardiac cycle and you will also learn about the cardiac conduction system. About the cardiac cycle as we are already done with the structure of the heart and the circulation through the heart. Now cardiac cycle is actually it is the sequence of the coordinated contractions. Sequence of the coordinated contractions. How the contractions in the heart take place. The uh, first, the contractions of the auricles and the ventricles. Firstly, both the <coughs> in, in one cardiac cycle, both the atria simultaneously relax and contract, followed by the relaxation and contraction of ventricles. That constitutes one cardiac cycle. A relaxation of uh, and and this one cardiac cycle it lasts around for 0.8 seconds. The relaxation and of uh, atria and ventricles, that's called the diastole. At that time, the heart is filled with the blood. At the time when the atria and the ventricles relax, the heart is filled with the blood and that's called the diastole. And once the contraction of atria and ventricles take place, that's called the systole. And that time, it is at the time of the contraction, the blood leaves the heart. At the time of relaxation, uh, when the when the chambers of the heart relax, that time the heart is filled with the blood. But at the time of contraction, the heart pumps out the blood and the blood leaves the heart. So, <clears throat> and it is uh, it is at the time of the ventricular contraction, the heart uh, pumps the blood out uh, into the arteries. And at that time, the heart exerts the pressure. Uh, by its pumping action, it exerts the pressure on the walls of the blood vessels and that pressure is equal to 120 millimeters of the mercury. <clears throat> 120 mm Hg or 120 millimeters of the mercury. And uh, at the same time, when the relaxation of the ventricles takes place, that's called the ventricular diastole. And that time the pressure dips and it decreases up to 80 mm Hgs. So, uh, the normal blood pressure, the normal blood pressure in a human being, it's around 120 mm Hg. It varies, um, it varies with the age, and sometimes in adults, uh, in young folk, it can go up to 125 by 80 mm Hg. So it was about the blood pressure and the cardiac cycle. And now about the heart sounds. You know, our heart it it produces sounds at the time when the when the valves in our heart, as there are two sets, sets of the valves in our heart, when they close, uh, that time they produce sounds at the time when they are, uh, when they, when they, sh when they are shut. And those sounds, they are uh, identified by means of an instrument that's called a stethoscope. And you can uh, usually see the stethoscope around the neck of the doctors. And that sound, those, there are two types of the sounds that can be identified by means of that instrument. That's called the lab sound and dub sound. The, uh, at the time when the ventricles contract, that time you can clearly hear the lab sound. And at that time what happens? The atrioventricular valves, AV valves get closed. When AV valves get closed, they produce a sound and that sound can be heard as lab sound. And after that, when the ventricles relax, they, they push the blood into the blood vessels, they relax, that times the semilunar valves, semilunar valves close and the, by that when the semilunar valves shut, they produce the sound and that sound can clearly be heard as a dub sound. But if there is any sort of the sound uh, which doesn't resemble lab and dub sound, that can be called as the heart murmur and that needs the medical attention. Maybe sometimes the valves, they do not get closed properly and they leak the blood, it produces the swishing sound and that sound is called as a heart murmur which needs the immediate medical attention. Now I would like to continue my lecture with the cardiac conduction system. Now let's know how the initiation of the heartbeat takes place. Where from our heartbeat initiates? Uh, that's called the cardiac conduction system. And this cardiac conduction system, it is a system of specialized muscle cells present in our heart which initiate the heartbeat or which initiate the cardiac cycle. Uh, there are four types of the specialized muscle cells in our heart. The first one is called the cyanoauricular node or SA node, which is present here. It is present uh, at the upper side of the right atria. 
and then another one is called the atrioventricular node or which is also called as the AV node it is present at the base of the right atria uh, near the wall of the heart uh, or near the partition of the heart which is called the septum then third uh, type of the specialized muscle cells they are called as the AV bundles or the atrioventricular bundles or the bundles of his and they are present here the bundles of his and then these bundles of his they branch into the ventricles and they give rise to the fiber like structures which are called the Purkinje fibers they are also the specialized muscle cells uh, and these four types of the muscle cells they are responsible for the conduction of the uh, cardiac conduction initiation of the heartbeat uh, so what happens first of all this um, this type of the specialized muscle uh, tissue which is present at the upper side of the right atria this is called the SA node or the cyano auricular node it sets the from 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 this point from this uh, muscular tissue uh, the initiation of the heartbeat takes place automatically the heartbeat gets initiated from here the electrical impulses get initiated from here and it initiates the heartbeat and uh, this is also called as the pacemaker of the heart why it is called the pacemaker of the heart because it sets the pace of the heartbeat so from here once the electrical impulses are generated the heartbeat is generated this heartbeat uh, it travels across the right atria and it is caught by this AV node or the atrioventricular atrioventricular node which is present at the base of the right atria this atrioventricular node uh, it will pass on this uh, electrical impulse uh, to the atrioventricular bundles or the bundles of his and these bundles of his they get they, they, they get branched into uh, so many fiber like projections and these fiber like projections they uh, you can find them into the ventricles of the heart and they are called the Purkinje fibers. These per Purkinje fibers, uh, they are responsible for the ventricular contractions. This is how all these four types of the specialized muscle cells, they are responsible for the initiation of the heartbeat and for, the, for carrying uh, out the coordinated contractions of the heart. Uh, uh, so this was all about the cardiac conduction system but now here i would like to add that uh, this heart this human heart or the heart present in the vertebrates this is also called as the myogenic heart why it is called the myogenic heart because the initiation of the heartbeat uh, that is automatically generated within the heart by means of the modified muscle tissues which are called as the SA node which is also called as the pacemaker of heart but in case of uh, the myogenic heart there is another type of the heart which is called the myogenic heart that is present generally in the annelids or uh, that is present in the orthophodes uh, you can find in them that there is a set of the ganglions uh, which initiate the heartbeat so that's called the neurogenic heart but in case of the uh, vertebrates and in case of the human beings we have got the myogenic heart as our heart it initiates the heartbeat inside the heart by means of the specialized muscle tissues so this was all about the heart thanks for watching uh, wait for my next lecture